we're here with Alex and his this is a 64 Electra, right? Alex, yeah. I've heard all about it, but this is the uh, first time I've seen it in in uh, in quite a while. Tell me about it. Well, this is my 1964 Buick Electra 225. I bought it the day after I turned 17. So this was your first car? Well, yeah. First classic. First classic. There you go. So, it really struck me because it was a beautiful example. Um, no rust, beautiful Eastern Washington car. Um, very, you know, classy looking car with the four window style four door hardtop. It's a good looking car, all right. No. I'm looking at this beautiful interior. Yeah, it has the correct uh, brocade cloth that Buick used in 1964. And the headliner is just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Some might call it NOS. Hat shelf, that looks like new. It hits me as a, as a very, very nice original car. Now, it, it's the paint original. It looks like it, but I, I really can't tell. Well, that's a good question, Eric. Parts may have been painted, but I'd like to call it original. It's beautiful paint, correct color, desert beige. And you're not sure about the paint just because uh, you didn't buy it new back in... 1964. Yeah. And I believe you said uh, one thing that attracted you to the car was that the it was rust-free rust, rust free and uh, gorgeous rear end styling. Yeah. The rust-free really, really struck me. Yeah, no, those cars, cars with a lot of rust are easy to find. It's, yeah, it's, it's something like this that uh, just stands out. You got a beautiful car here, Alex. Oh, thank you, Eric. I enjoy it. Your uh, dates enjoy it too, don't they? That could be. What do you mean it could be? Well, yes. Okay, there you go. Nice original car. And as I understand, uh, Alex, what motivates this beautiful original Buick Electra is the nail head 401. By Buick, which was put in Buicks from 1953 through 1966. But this is one of the biggest engines ever built. It, it, it says 445. We know that is the torque rating. The displacement uh, at 401 is, that's pretty substantial. So that should move this car right along. Yeah, she's no slouch. She came uh, from the factory with power steering, brakes, factory air conditioning, and cruise control. Yes, they had it in 1964. This was a well-equipped car. Very nice, Alex. You did good. Well, thank you. A quick test drive here with Alex and, and my wife Karen, uh, a.k.a. Cupcake, is going to uh, enjoy the back seat. Uh, why don't you pull down that center armrest? Well, there you go. Isn't that comfortable? Yes, very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. This is a nice car. So, let's take off, Alex. What a nice smooth car. Ten and two. Ten there and go. two. Nice power brakes. You're going to try them out now. Yeah. Nice solid car. What a neat old car you have here, Alex. Well, thank you, Eric. I really enjoy it. It looks like there are two needles on the speedometer there. What's that What's that yellow one for? The one with the, the right. yellow dot on the right, set at 90, is the cruise control. You set the knob to the speed of your preference. You hold in this button that says cruise until you get up to the desired speed. It lights up and you let off. And I see you're you. holding it your desired speed. And yeah, I can see right now we're well under under 90. Absolutely. It's a safe afternoon, uh, Sunday afternoon drive. That's a nice original steering wheel too. And I'm looking at this padded dash. Wow. That's like I'm test driving a car in 1964. Yes, that's what happens when you keep your cars garaged. Oh, I've forgotten about this tissue dispenser. That's that's pretty neat, Alex. Factory option for 1964. 
we see factory air conditioning. And there's, there's a little cupcake in there in the mirror and it says Buick is a beauty too. Well thank you Alex for taking us along uh, on your test drive here. Well thank you for joining me Eric. I guess it's not really a test drive because you own the car. More like a, a short cruise through the neighborhood on this beautiful Sunday. We'll see you on the road Alex. Alrighty.